organic chemistry is the study of organic compounds that is the compounds essentially containing a carbon atom we know more than 5 million organic compounds are known so it's very important to know the structure of the organic compounds let's see how we write the structure of organic compounds we know that the carbon atoms can be linked to each other this property of carbon atoms is known as catenation and to satisfy the octet each carbon atom contains four covalent bonds if you are talking of hydrocarbons in this case we see that the remaining positions are taken up by the hydrogen atoms so this is how we write the structure of an organic compound we use the covalent bonds to link the carbon atoms and these covalent bonds are also used for the other atoms that is the atoms other than carbon atoms and if we are talking of hydrocarbons the other atoms are hydrogen so this is the structural formula of an organic compound all the carbon atoms are linked to themselves by the covalent bonds and the carbon atoms are also linked to the hydrogen atoms by the covalent bonds so this is the structural formula of an organic compound now you see if we have a long chain it becomes really tedious to write and make all these covalent bonds again and again so in order to make this process short we use the condensed or the abbreviated formula so this formula is known as condensed so condensed means to condense or to make short and abbreviated also means to shorten so this formula the same formula can be shortened by using this so we remove these single covalent bonds and we simply write ch3 now this covalent bond is present to show the linkage between the two carbon atoms and again we can remove these covalent bonds and we can simply write h2 similarly for all the other carbon atoms the linkages between the carbon atoms is specified by the bonds that is the covalent bonds and the linkages between carbon and hydrogen atoms these covalent bonds can be removed and we can simply write the number of hydrogen atoms so we have shortened the structural formula and this formula now is known as the condensed or the abbreviated formula so these are the two ways in which we write the structure of the organic compounds so we saw that this is the structural formula of the organic compound and this is the condensed or the abbreviated formula of the organic compound in this case i mentioned that we write this carbon atom the three covalent bonds attached to the three hydrogen atoms can be ignored so we write ch3 and this c is now bonded to another carbon atom by a single bond so we show the covalent bonds present between the carbon atoms we ignore the covalent bonds that are present between the carbon and the hydrogen atoms why is that so why don't we write ch3 ch3 and so on why do we why do we specify this single covalent bond this is because in case of alkanes it is a saturated hydrocarbon so all the bonds are single covalent bonds but in case of alkenes if we do not mention these bonds how do we know whether it is a single or a double covalent bond let's look at an example if we have this compound we have to write the condensed or the abbreviated formula of this organic compound so we start with the first carbon atom we write c we ignore the single covalent bonds so we write ch2 now if we ignore this bond that is this double bond and we simply write ch we cannot infer whether this is a single or a double covalent bond so in order to find out whether it is an alkane or an alkene we always specify the bonds between any two carbon atoms so in this case we write ch2 double bond c since this carbon atom is bonded only to one hydrogen atom so we write ch next we have this carbon atom bonded to two hydrogen atoms and there is a single covalent bond between these two so we write ch2 further we have ch2 and then we have ch3 so from this we see 
that the hydrogen atoms are always bonded to the carbon atoms by single covalent bonds so we can ignore these covalent bonds but in order to find out whether it is an alkene or an alkene we always specify the bonds between any two carbon atoms so in this case we know it is an alkene similarly if we have an alkyne in order to write the condensed or the abbreviated formula of this compound we first write the first carbon atom and then we specify this triple covalent bond then we have this carbon atom it is not bonded to any hydrogen atom since its tetravalency is already specified so now we write the next carbon atom that is ch2 ch2 ch3 so this is the condensed or the abbreviated formula of this structural compound so why do we write the triple bond or the single covalent bonds between any two carbon atoms this is because we know that the hydrogen atoms are always bonded by single covalent bonds but in order to find out whether the organic compound is an alkene alkene or an alkyne we always specify the type of bonds present between any two carbon atoms let's try to write the condensed or the abbreviated formula for this structure so as we see we write this carbon atom it is linked to three hydrogen atoms so we can remove these covalent bonds and we simply write ch3 now we show this linkage that is the linkage between the two carbon atoms now this carbon atom that is the, the second carbon atom is linked to two hydrogen atoms we can remove the covalent bonds and we simply write the number of hydrogen atoms similarly for this carbon atom and for the last carbon atom we have three hydrogen atoms so this is the structural formula of this organic compound when we shorten it we write it in this manner which is known as the condensed or the abbreviated formula